What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Venice. And in this episode, uh, we have executed Order 66. Dagestan and her protectorates must fall. So let us destroy this army that's in a in a city and it's absolutely packed full of infantry. Once we deal with Dagestan, then we will move across and deal with Bavaria, Württemberg, the whole lot of them. Um, so a lot of uh, city attacks in this one, but that's pretty good. And also this does mean that we are at war with some of the um, native peoples in America that are also Dagestan protectorates. Not that that makes a huge difference to what we want to do, it's just nice that we've now got those options for attack. Okay, so we have the enhanced walls. Um, however, because they have no mortars, we we very much have the freedom to just pick them apart piece by piece. Okay, so set up my defensive, well, set up my offensive line rather, my infantry units. Wait out, cavalry in general, all up to one side. my artillery just to engage different sections of the wall. Almost certainly want to quickline the centre. So you've got enough troops to actually uh, defend every section of the wall. We are able to engage us. Lots of this. It's all just General's bodyguard. Plus regiment of horse. We could round shot it to be honest and still do some really good damage, but let's get quick climbing. I'm trying to work out what these guys are shooting at because they're not shooting at what I order them to shoot at. This unit is. They're the only one that's doing it. I have no bayonets. Okay, there we go. Now all the shells have started to come in. Quick climb soon. Yep, shells away. The enemy cavalry force is absolutely gutted. Down to half, down to half, down to half. Down to, roughly down to half across the board, including the general's bodyguard. Good. See, now the, now the um, heavy horse artillery is doing its work. It is absolutely obliterating these sections of wall. Well, you... Go after the corner. You're going after that piece. We're not going to really trap anybody exactly. What you want to do is just knock some holes in the breaches. Knock some holes in the breaches. Ugh, don't want to do that. You want to knock some holes in the walls, get them off the walls to try and defend them, and then we will advance. I'm fairly sure some of these units are not listening to my orders and instead are, yeah, like you, for example. You should be engaging that section there, you should be engaging that section, you should be engaging this section right there. You're not, you're, see they're, they're attempting to aim at the um, centre for reasons. Still, look, they are, they're still, they're still trying to do it. Are you still doing it? Okay, no, you are now hitting the section of wall that you should be. Good. 
howitzers don't need to attack any don't need to attack the center anymore they can attack some of these sections of wall although they might shoot that section we might be able to trap a few men on the walls and kill a good chunk of the 31st order attack this section here while they attempt to uh, while troops attempt to desperately get off the wall that's right stack it high although we probably won't be able to destroy the wall before the enemy gets off of it they are all troop guns are all reloading pivoting 73% Howitzer oh, shells are coming in. 88. Might be able to do it. Ninety. One more volley from the heavy horse. There he should be able to do it. Our middle gun is bugged. They're aiming at the center again. The wall. Still. I mean, yeah, okay, right. Some of those, some of those shots that hits, good. And how it shells will destroy it. They're also electing to aim at the center again. I've not actually given them. Oh, this game. They've, they've, whatever. They never, they never used to do this. Way back when, this is a new phenomenon. They're, they're all doing it now. Okay, now, finally. Now it says, start to quick climb. There, yeah, you men have to attack that section of wall. We're all going to attack that section of the wall. My line is going to advance. So you can quick climb that unit on the wall there. So you had orders to, to do something different. You've elected to attack the wall straight up. Start to try and knock some of these guns off. Friendly fire! And some more. <laughs> Good hit. So yeah, we'll quick loan to attack these guys. But knock some holes in their line. This area entrance is quite inviting, but they do have more troops behind, so we need to watch out. Really, we want to try and entice them towards us, really. We want to entice them towards us so we can annihilate them with our fire and quick line. You might actually just hit this area with with um, round shot. It might be the fastest. This one's okay because you're doing lots of good damage to their infantry. But this one, we're having more we're having more luck destroying the wall, so we may as well want to carry on doing that, especially if they don't want to get off. Maybe, yeah, they've still got one, two, three, four full strength units toward the rear. Which isn't the end of the world. Wait, 
But we do just want to make sure we don't get caught out by them. Misses. Heavy horse artillery firing. Because they are 24 pounder heavy horse artillery compared to 12 pounder foot artillery. that section down then we'll threaten it probably pull some troops away from this breach then we'll also try and move in here get my cavalry up get my carabiner fire it all off let's see if we can get in through here these units just hold now so previously these guys wanted to shoot into the center so now they're going to be allowed to shoot in the center. get in here they, if they're not gonna If they don't seem to want to stop us, then yeah, let's quick line the units that are here to resist us. Position you men to block formation, you men to just go here and pour fire in that direction. These two units advance break out towards the center. Cavalry run in. All this infantry have orders to advance. Responding in the way that I would have imagined they would have done. Everybody run in. Switch to round shot. Bombard the 25th order. You just try and kill these cavalrymen. Heavy cavalry try to take the center. Yeah, you guys are in trouble. Swiss Mountain Jaeger get into the barracks. Charge forwards, we need to try and take some ground. Heavy cavalry take the center. And my quick gliding howitzers. Some good damage on my own unit here. Use the Lear's advance because really we want to try push through where possible, push through to block any of their strong units that might attempt to um, defend well, the bridge head exactly, but we even get out of here. Take position in the line. You're going to block them. See, all my artillery just sees fire because right now it's doing no of no benefit to anybody. Get my cavalry over here. Carabiner over here to join the musket line. Oh no, you don't. You men have your orders. 
colonial line can continue, and my regiment of horse can continue chopping away. Well, that was it. You guys are going to keep attacking this section of the wall. You're going into like that unit, I suppose. Although, by advancing too far forward, we have... Hello, Grenadiers, out! Why do we not have... Okay, I was going to say, why do we not have the centre? But we do... My cavalry is stuck in the building, so they are now useless. Push forward. Actually, no, if, you're, if they're just going to sit there and want to shoot at us, then we will oblige them. Or well, there's a unit in the breach that's still doing that. Kill that last unit of infantry. Guns of my Swiss Mountain Jaeger. They're mowing down the head of this column, attempting to engage us and engage my line infantry like that. It's probably not a great idea. Carabiner are attacking this order here. We all mount today to engage this corner piece. You men about face. We demolish this corner section. We're also damaging that piece, but misses. There we go. <laughs> collapsed from the. It collapsed off of the wall. Excellent. Okay, they can attack. They just um, symbol. Well, because this guy somehow managed to get upstairs inside a building. Not that it matters, because we got in. We broke through, they weren't able to stop us. So there goes Dagestan. Dagestan's going to be angry with us for a while. Not that we mind, because the city is taken. Get rid of the modern university. That will cut down the clamour for reform dramatically. They might actually be okay with us owning their territory. Okay, let's get some upgrades. Kazan is almost entirely um, Catholic. So let's. Well, Dagestan. No, Dagestan's going to have a church school built there anyway, so you can just keep converting. It's okay. Ultimately, you don't really need to... Once religious unrest is gone, it shouldn't really... Well, it shouldn't really matter. For the most part, lots of these regions are 100% Catholic. So Kazan being 94.5 is probably okay. Let's bring you down to Taki to begin the conversion there. Because you are a superb missionary. Okay, so 13 colonies, they are not our enemies yet. Um, however, other factions are Württemberg, Bavaria, Savoy. Savoy also down here. Just, just so we don't forget, just siege them there. But we're going to focus on Bavaria. Though I'll, I'll, I'll make one unit attack the city. Let's see if this unit comes in as a reinforcement. No, it doesn't. Okay, so in which case both these armies push up. This army doesn't come in to help either, which is great. Let's attack Munich and destroy the Bavarians. Then all of these armies, once they're fully replenished, will probably end up being sent to the Middle East to blitz through Persia and then start to bring war to the Maratha no, they might be the Mughals. I can't remember which Indian faction. Uh, one of the Indian factions. And then, yeah, I'm sure it's the Mughals. Yes, it's the Mughals because they've got their um, massive invasion fleet near Bandar Abbas. Get 
only thing I'm afraid of is fear. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm afraid of fear. Oh no, it's getting worse. Uh, ooh, really good gun. Eh, kind of a good gun. Well, uh, up here is where we want to be. But where are their reinforcements coming in? Well, we're going to be up here and take the high ground. Special troops. Hopefully, deployment doesn't screw me. But it could well do. That's kind of what it does. Okay, howitzers. And my howitzers might be able to stay here and open up and provide some long range support. Okay, no, it hasn't screwed me. Good! Horse artillery go the furthest because they can, can at least run. So my group, my skirmishers can hold the right flank. Pikes can help them, which means they probably only want a hussar unit over here. Give them, I'll give them a heavy cavalry unit. Let's put hussar and heavy cavalry over on the left. Is that artillery? There you go, because we've deployed Bunnery exactly. Howitzers are trying to engage, but let's not waste their shots doing that. Let's use quick climb where possible. Start to knock out some of these enemy units. There you go, heavy horse artillery on Limbach. This infantry line might actually push slightly further forward. So my guns, by default, they're probably going to try and attack the enemy artillery, which we don't really care about. Might try go for their Lancer guards. See if we can provoke them into the attack, which we have. It sounded like we had. Run my light horse past the artillery. Fusiliers. Yeah, they have some good units. Capable units. Ooh. Keep focusing on the Fry Corps. Attack the engineers because they're in a great position for a really effective quick climb. So the reinforcements are coming in from their edge. Okay, they're running their lances out of artillery range, which means they have to run them a really long way. 24 pounders, Undenbar. Now it's a shot away. Got one good hit against these engineers. Not bad, I'll take it. Signore. Engineers to bombard. Probably actually bowl this left flank in a bit to get some more shots. Push forward, that'll upset them. They're trying to work their way around the right flank a little bit more. So my howitzers will provide, will focus on providing support to the units on the left, on my right flank. Because the, on my left we've got the advantage of artillery. Fusiliers have advanced within range. hits on the 10th regiment. The regiment of fusiliers have been broken already. Mm, 
misfires around the Grenadiers. So their artillery is still protected by multiple roving units of cavalry, so we can't really go for them yet. How are they able to fire at us? Guards. Let's see what happens if we fire shrapnel from behind. Good, they still explode in a reasonable position. She might have to aim it slightly further back. Okay, get my Hussars forward to take the initial blow. My heavy cavalry push in. Marines cease fire. Pull my hussars out. There we go. Where are my light infantry? is completely fine. It's the right flank. Good shrapnel shot and blew a good chunk of these provincial line units away. They want to charge. My Swiss pikes are here ready. Could do with re-deploying my line really. Bring my heavy cavalry in, we can crash into the flank of the Freikor. Artillery here, engage. That 12 pound unit just entering the field. Skirmishes cease fire. Pikeman, commit. Okay, how it says retarget. Make sure they're quick line my own guys. Core broken and shattered. Bring my heavy cavalry into charge into the rear of this block of grenadiers that's made it to our line. My Swiss pikes are now in. The Lancer Guards have retreated to form up into a diamond shape. Quick climb coming in against the knight. The militia shattered. Keep engaging the enemy infantry, particularly these grenadiers. Where are my pikemen? The grenadiers think they're winning. The grenadiers have been turned. Well, the grenadier guards have been turned back. Now we hit the enemy grenadiers. The skirmishers stay formed up and firing at will. Heavy horse artillery is knocked out the, arti the enemy artillery. Go after the hussars in that range. Bakeman withdraw. Infantry get back into position. Looks like they might want to try again. My cavalry wide. Howitzers, bomba! Actually, Howitzers go for one unit, go for the Lancer Guard. Start using my artillery at range, start picking off some of these units that are coming in to reinforce. We've killed the enemy general! Our 
quick climb, got him. There we go. They've been dealt with. Enemy mortar garrison. Taking a few losses. Actually, you guys. Try and engage them, see what you can do. Sierra winded. Okay, the enemy are committing their cavalry into the action. We've killed another general. <laughs> so Where's the enemy? Okay. Oh no, that's their re that's their um, reinforcement point. Enemy field artillery. Enemy um, mortars are firing at us. There you go. Enemy, their artillery has committed their hussars in against us. Heavy cavalry is coming back again. Some of it is, at least. Oh, and Zolom Cursier. No. They broke. They did not want to see the charge through against the squares. Missiles are coming in. Line infantry coming in at speed. We will outlast you. I my own light cavalry to chase it, to crash into them on the flank. Yeah, see what you guys can do against them. That's what we wanted, was you guys to pop out of line, pop out of square rather. Turns. Engage. Right at the extreme of your range, both these artillery pieces engage the Kaiserian horse grenadiers. So I'll stick with round shot because it's more arcs more. They broke before they even made it to the line. Send my hussars forward to kill that um, mortar unit. Send my heavy cavalry forward to take out their mortar unit here. Oh, this is going to obliterate enemy infantry here. Broken, shattered. Horse grenadiers. Still up and fighting. They are interested in my infantry positions. My men are reloading. The artillery is still crashing around them. under the pressure. Good. Bavaria is taken. And the faction is destroyed. Good. Very good. Back you go. Poof. Everybody's gone. The men replenish. 
repair we'll repair the buildings, replenish the army, destroy the church school, upgrade the roads. It'll take a bunch of turns before this industry develops, so by that time. Yeah, the clamp getting rid of the university will almost entirely get rid of the, the pub, lower public orders clamor for reform so it will get rid of the upper classes clamor for reform well, uh, public unrest sorry this army just give them the long walk order although actually they might end up just going to yeah well they might go here actually to help attack transylvania when the time comes, because they aren't needed here anymore. Uh, bankruptcy, I mean, the bankruptcy impact should go down dramatically. Leonardo Strozzi. If you, do you come in as a reinforcement already? You do. Perfect. Okay, we probably want infantry more than artillery coming in off the bat. I think. And even then, it's probably it's probably um, <laughs> uh, cavalry over artillery as well. Yeah. So the key to this one, because they got defenses, is we have to attack the defenses and destroy them, and then position so that we can just repulse any enemy reinforcements coming in. Because they do enter the battle one at a time, they'll only march in to reinforce the settlement one at a time. So we can get in there and take the settlement. If we make one breach, for example. And we capture the gatehouses they will be limited in where they can get in unless they want to run all the way around and get into our breaches or assault the walls themselves which adds an element of risk and time delays and all that good stuff so let's get set up and going and we'll ultimately be governed by god or tyrants well it's not the former so it's probably going to be the latter. Oh well. So let's make our get our gun batteries set up. So the key will also be we don't necessarily want to kill units entirely. That's part of it. So I might end up being a bit more. So I might end up doing a bit more of the tactics I used to do. Like this. One one section push forward towards the breach ready to exploit it. Another section um, push forward to the rear of the enemy's positions. You're not hidden. Everybody's hidden. And my cavalry... The bulk of my cavalry go back here, even though they're not hidden. Well, it's going to be surprised if my heavy cavalry can't really hide. Okay, in which case, let's keep my heavy cavalry together at the front here. Nothing specific to attack the centre. They've got cavalry, but not nothing particularly worrisome. So just let them um, attack the wall. So you to attack the wall, start to well, start to pressure it and weaken it, then push forward and try and draw more of their units away from defending this back corner. Because I want to capture gatehouses, I want to capture gatehouses is a big one. So in that case, you want to attack a different regiment. Like that unit that's completely full. You might advance forward. They have no artillery, so we don't have to worry about mortars doing a lot of damage to us.
So you, I could retreat my artillery, but I might keep them here because they can blast this this area with shrapnel shot. So if the enemy come in to try and um, use this as a way to get into the city, we can overwhelm them. So once we've got our breach and the enemy's committed to defending that section. Ooh. One unit of militia back here. It does, looks like they're not really moving off, so... Oh, right, you're... I thought you were with a different unit. Right, so you men run forward. The enemy cavalry isn't charging. That's okay. Artillery just bombard the breach. We're not going to quick climb the breach because we don't want to do too much damage to them. So switch to round shot. And my howitzers as well. Now oh, these men are abandoning the um, abandoning this section of the wall entirely. You men go there and cover that. Twist line scale. Ideas are going to go here and block that off. You men scale here. Carabino are going to trot forward. Okay, my line has to trot forward a bit, so we might start to. There we go. So we've got some units for routing, and that's going to be right in for a penny and for a pound if you are all going to cluster like that. Uh, didn't really want my houses in that group. Like that would have been a big loss for the enemy. Do they have mortars? Oh, the enemy general bodyguards coming in. Has come in. You men are going to scale that section of the wall then. Garrison guards turn around and fight them. Swiss mountain jaeger scale the wall. I completely missed that. Who did we kill then? Okay, the howitzer, the um, artillery is. Well, the um, cavalry have realised what's going on. Switched to round shot, attack the centre. Killed an enemy general, which is good. But we've lost a bunch of men. Okay, there's more enemy provincial cavalry. Scale these walls and get in. So you men form a square. Push the army in. Capture the gatehouses, prevent their cavalry from attacking us, but all but principally just buy buy time for our men to get up the wall. The Swiss grenadiers were meant to get up here themselves, so this is less than ideal, but we are making them spread out. Probably stand to make everybody that isn't pikemen wait while the pikemen try and carve their way through. Especially when. have an enemy general to deal with. This artillery limber up. You men withdraw. We don't need your help anymore. Okay, we've got 
pushed away an enemy cavalry unit. This gatehouse is ours. All the gatehouses are ours now, actually. These men are kind of screwed. Let's run my engineers in. problems from their cavalry attacking us in the rear. Okay, these units withdraw. How it says quick line center. Okay, that was a big judder. That was a big judder. Oh, hello. That's going to be a lot of dead Württembergians. Yeah, we've got that's some losses for us as well, but we can deal with those losses. You may get out of here. Grenadiers, get off the wall. These men, get off the wall. Actually, you guys don't get off the wall yet. Group up. They're about to pour fire onto the top anyway. One of our units that was routing has come back. Howitzers. Quick line. Form up a position here to deny the enemy the ability to reinforce the fort. general they observe the danger are they going out they want to go after my pikemen that are retreating okay, you men get into the center and capture it you men all get off the wall Then you kill the last of the enemy here. There we go. We are defending our position. Let's get my house just to keep carpet bombing this area with quick line. Push through the gap here. Infantry capture the center. Yeah, you men can stay up here. Although really you'd want them over here. Okay, make sure try get my Okay good. We killed the last of the the last of the enemy in the city well except for you yeah then the end game will be if you didn't have the timer you would have to um, effectively capture the hey my swiss pikes came back as well nice you would effectively have to just sit here and defend against the enemy coming in which wouldn't be a huge problem well in this particular case because we've got reasonable amount of infantry plus more coming in kill another enemy general so then yeah effectively we would you would just have to keep deploying your 
troops will you just deploy your army so that they unless they unless they attack the walls they can't get in and they're not going to attack the walls they want to try and push forward and reinforce which is perfectly decent of them but my men can when the time comes when they finish their movement this guy gets into position they can maybe they won't but they can man the walls as it is i've got a decent amount of infantry here we've captured the city but that's what you would do say nicely executed battle to show how when you attack a city with a large amount of reinforcements that's kind of what you do and as a result this ordinarily would be a massive pain in the backside because they've scattered everywhere but the faction is gone so there isn't a problem so let's re rebuild the government building at stuttgart let's repair the or re reinforce the um, reinforce the assault forces let's demolish the university let's upgrade the roads excellent right so you're a bit of a pain in the back so, well actually if you, so this could be a bit of a pain in the backside because if when these reinforcing units come in they might come in directly behind us unless we run around this way uh, you're not quite in range. If you move there... No, that didn't quite work. But if we moved an attack from that direction and used this army to attack, then um, Savoy would be less of a problem. Well, the reinforcements would be less of a problem than they currently are. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Turin. And this will be... One of two battles against Savoy. Cheers, everyone.